Welcome to Lecture 10 in this series of discussions of statistical process improvement and statistical quality assurance. In this module and the next, we're going to further the theme begun in Module 9, that is the separation of various kinds of variation that one might see in a data set into interpretable pieces, uh, in particular separating sources and kinds of variation one sees in measurements. Uh, we're going to use, we're going to talk about more standard methods than the simple method of module 9 and are going to talk about so-called one-way random effects modeling and uh, the corresponding statistical methodology and software beginning in this module with the discussion of the modeling. One of the basic models of intermediate statistical methods is in fact this so-called one-way random effects model. It is a model for a number of samples of observations. So here is sample number one, here is sample number two, here is sample number i. This model says that these samples may be thought of as coming from normal distributions with a common variance, but means that themselves vary according to some normal distribution. One can write this in equation terms or in terms of, a, of, a, of an equation to say that all the observations in sample i are built from mean i plus mean zero standard deviation sigma normal random variation. Uh, you can think of some number of means i drawn at random from a normal distribution of means and subsequently observations generated from i different normal popula populations with those means and a common standard deviation. That's the so-called one-way random effects model. Uh, the the mu's and the epsilons are so-called random effects and the variances, the squares of these standard deviations, sigma and sigma for mu, are called variance components. So the three parameters here are the within group standard deviation that describe how variable is sample number one, how variable is sample number two and, how, and separately how variable is sample i. That's measured by uh, the within group standard deviation sigma. The between group standard deviation measures the variability in the i means and then there's the grand overall mean. Uh, as I said the squares of the standard deviations are called variance components and uh, in particular laws of expectation and variance imply that uh, an average, a single average measurement under this model has mean, mu, and has a variance that is the sum of variability in mu's and uh, the, the the observation variance sigma squared. We're going to make two fairly standard applications of this model uh, to quality assurance and, and measurement contexts. And those applications are going to be to situations where multiple measurands from a stable process uh, are, mul are measured multiple times on the same device. Another application is going to be to a problem where a single measure in is measured multiple times on multiple devices. These two 
scenarios and their accompanying parameter values uh, are illustrated in the next two cartoons here. Uh, one might think of using a one-way random effects model in a context where uh, a process with mean mu sub x and standard deviation sigma sub x generates a number of measure ands that are seen through measurement by a single device where multiple measurements are made on each measure and producing sample 1, sample 2, sample i. In this context, in the parameters of the general statistical model that uh, was just introduced, the mu is this process mean plus bias. That is, it's mu sub x plus delta. The sigma sub mu is this sigma sub x that says how variable the measure ends are, and the quote unquote sigma is the variability that that is that's associated with the with with measurement. So one application of the one way random effects model is to this scenario and here are the correspondences between the the general parameters of the model and the and the the, the particular situation under discussion here. A second scenario that can be described using this one-way random effects model is one where a single measure and gets measured by a number of different devices. So you might think, for example, of uh, a single measure and single object being measured multiple times by a by a, by, a, by several operators producing measurements from operator 1, measurements from operator 2, measurements from operator i. In this context, the quote unquote mu of the general one-way random effects model is the truth about the object under investigation, the measure and plus the average bias of these cap i devices. The sigma sub mu is something that describes how variable are these biases. So the quote unquote sig sigma sub mu is a sigma for deltas and the quote unquote sigma for the uh, general one way random effects model is this quantity that measures how variable are the uh, are, are measurements from any one of these these devices. Uh, there are well established methods of inference associated with this one way random effects model uh, that can be applied to make confidence intervals for model parameters, do hypothesis testing and so on. Some of these are based on so-called analysis of variance methods and a, a so-called one-way ANOVA identity that basically says that overall variation in what's observed can be broken into something that is essentially a kind of variance of the uh, sample means uh, and then something that is a something that's essentially a pool variance uh, within the within the samples uh, this is sometimes written as a, a total sum of squares is a treatment sum of squares plus an error sum of squares this is this is material that is seen in the last week of stat 231 so uh, those of you that are taking ie 361 uh, have seen this this material. Uh, there are there are methods uh, of making confidence intervals in particular 
uh, the the sigma uh, is 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 directly estimated by the square root of the mean squared error, and one can even take that estimate and hedge it above and below uh, by appropriate degrees of freedom over chi-square values, square roots of those, uh, in order to make confidence limits. Operationally, the most efficient way to make inferences based on the one-way random effects model is to use appropriate software. Uh, and in the next module, uh, we'll use the statistical package jump and uh, rather than doing quote-unquote hand calculations, we'll simply uh, use printouts to read off estimates, read off confidence limits for the parameter sigma, sigma sub mu that says how the mu's vary, and then a mu that that is the average, the average mean.